Welcome to 1.6 Math Moment. Today, students took what they've learned about constant rate and rate tables and applied it to a graph and also with unit pricing. So we're going to talk about a couple of different terms today, but I first want you to look at the rate table, which is something we've been familiar with because we've used it in lessons previous. Okay, when I look at this situation, it says number of pounds and cost in dollars. So I'm looking at pounds and how much it costs me. I have my unit rate because I have a number that's connected with the one. So this makes everything else a little bit easier once I have my unit rate. I know that if one pound costs three dollars, to get from one to three, I multiply by three. So I can go ahead and continue to fill out the rate table um, by taking everything times three, which is my constant rate. So two times three would give me six. Two pounds would cost me six dollars. Three times three would give me nine. Three pounds would cost me nine dollars. Now here I have the 12. I have how many dollars, I don't have the pounds. So instead of times three, I have to do the opposite with my unit rate, and I must divide by three. When I do that, 12 divided by three is four. I could always double check my math and think four times three gives me 12 to double check with multiplication. I keep moving on. Five times three would give me 15. Six times three would give me 18. And I have 7 and 21, but I still want to make sure and check that the constant rate applies to the bottom of the table. And it definitely should, and it does. 7 times 3 is 21. So now that we have our rate table completely filled out, we're going to take this same information, 1 pound, $3, 2 pounds, $6, and so on, and show it on a graph. We have here our x-axis going across, and it's labeled pounds. So everything on this line should be shown should be showing my pounds. Then I have my y-axis going up, which is labeled dollars. So everything on the y-axis should be from this column here, the dollar column. So I see that I have a point labeled at 1, 3, which is representing this section of the chart, or of the rate table. 1, 3. And as you continue across, you see 2, 6. I go over 2, up 6, over 2 pounds, up six dollars and then I just continue to do that same pattern over three pounds would mean I would cost nine dollars four pounds would cost twelve dollars five pounds would cost fifteen and so on all the way through the chart now one connection students can make is that they see that this is a constant rate times three a constant rate on a graph should be able to you should be able to see it pretty easily because it's going to show a line moving at the same direction if it was a line that was zigzagging back and forth, that wouldn't show a constant rate. But this is gradually getting, um, getting larger and increasing, and so it shows a constant rate. Another term that students learned today was a unit rate triangle, which you'll see me highlighting here on my graph. It goes all the way up. What this unit rate triangle shows, it shows that a number is getting bigger by one pound and bigger by three dollars. So every triangle shows an increase over by one and an increase up by three, which is just re-emphasizing the, um, the pattern that we see in the rate table. If you have any questions about 1.6, make sure to see your math teacher.